If you want to know about life on the spotlight, this is why we bring you the hottest news on your celebrities. This is NX Daily Top 5 Lifestyle. Follow us on our social media platforms for this and more stories. At number 5, go and marry Simi Tells Falls. Studio Broad lead at Simi has taken a sly dig at rapper and singer Files on Instagram. Simi, who revealed she'll be dropping the video for her hit song, By You, featuring Hobby Adekunle Gold, took a playful dig at Files, telling him to get married. The cover for the video showed Simi and Adekunle Gold in front of a convertible. Files, in his playful mood, took to the comment section and asked, Is there a space in the back seat? End of quote. Replying to the comment, Simi wrote, quote, No, sir, go and marry. Rolling down to number 4, Bradley Cooper, Irina Shaikh agree over daughter. Bradley Cooper and Irina Shaikh have parted ways but they have come together as parents, agreeing to live in the same town and share custody. Sources connected to the former couple tells us they have agreed to join legal and physical custody of two-year-old Leah Lay the same. Sources said it's a 50-50 split although with work schedules, it varies from month to month. And what's more, they do not have a formal written custody agreement. They're so in sync with co-parenting they don't feel the need to memorize realize it. Agreed to live in New York City. They had a home in LA and also one in New York that they bought last October. It's unclear if Bradley will still be spending much time in LA. Bradley and Irina started dating in 2015 and split last month. Rolling down to number 3, Kevin Spacey's criminal case. Kevin Spacey might be having the last laugh at the moment as the criminal case leveled against him has been dismissed. Documents which they have been privileged to obtain indicate that the case was dropped, quote, due to the unavailability of complaining witnesses, end of quote. It also reports that the alleged victim had earlier dropped his civil case. The prosecutors commanded that the case should be dismissed. This is coming few weeks after the text messages exchanged between the alleged victim and his girlfriend during the groping incident with Kevin Spacey was brought before the court as evidence. Kevin Spacey held my manhood eight times. Accuser alleges the new document it obtained reveals some pretty disturbing details of the sexual assault victim's experience with the disgraced movie star Kevin Spacey. According to the docs, the texts are from screenshots taken by the accuser and provided to investigators. The alleged victim tested his girlfriend Spacey, quote, grabbed my manhood like eight times, pulled my zipper down and reached down my pants. The man ends the convo by writing, quote, Kevin Spacey is gay, end of quote. However, Kevin Spacey's lawyers disputed evidence, insisting that the text messages don't tell the full story. Another challenge this latest evidence is facing is the fact that not all the text messages were timestamped. Counting off to number 2, Khloe Kardashian responds to claims she hates Tristan Thompson. Despite being hurt multiple times by Tristan Thompson, Khloe Kardashian has shot down claims that she hates the father of her child. Tristan Thompson betrayed Khloe Kardashian in every way possible and he did this multiple times. First, he cheated on her with multiple women when she was pregnant with their child and the news went public just hours before Khloe went into labor. Then he cheated on her again with her younger sister's best friend, Jordan Woods. But Khloe says this doesn't Mean she hates him. She said, it's impossible to hate someone who helped her create a child as beautiful as the one they have, and added that she has to let go of the hurt he caused her so she can heal. And finally at number 1, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West lobby Trump in an ASAP Rocky's case. President Trump is very much aware of ASAP Rocky's legal siege in Sweden and he's got his team working to get him free. We've learned Kim and Kanye lobby the White House to jump in and get involved in the drama across the pond, where ASAP's been behind bars for more than two weeks now as prosecutors determine if the rapper should be charged with his aggravated assault. Here's how it went down. Reports have it that as soon as Kim and Kanye heard about ASAP's prediction comment earlier this month, Kanye urged Kim to get on the horn and talk to Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, with whom Kim is very familiar from her previous White House work. Sources say Kim filled Jared in on what's happening and Jared then took the info to Trump himself who acknowledged that something seemed amiss. Trump told Kushner he believed ASAP was being held unfairly and wanted to help. As we reported, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo got involved and unleashed a few deputies in an attempt to get some action. A State Department member was 
was supposed to arrive in Sweden Thursday. Sources said the State Department is now actively working to get ASAP out of jail. And that's it on NX Daily Top 5 Lifestyle. More stories coming your way next time. You can watch this and more on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram at Nigezi Extreme. Tweet at us at Nigezi TV and you can visit our website at www.nigezi.tv.